Hello and welcome to Infinity. In this long series on blend modes, we've got one more kind of basic thing to cover before we get into the details of each individual blend mode. This is kind of important because it's about how they're actually calculated, because we are going to into the detail of it so you understand you're thinking red, green and blue every time. So what we can see is that when we start off blending, this just as a quick reminder, that we start off with the base layer, we add a blend layer on top, and then there's a formula which is the blend mode, and that's where the calculation is defined. And that leads us to what we see in the end with the result. So one way of doing this is with reds, greens, and blues, and do them separately. In other words, take the red in the base layer and do some calculation involving the red in the blend layer and separately with the greens and with the blues. So for example, if you start off here with the base layer, supposing you've got the red, green and blue like this, and then the blend, mower, blend layer looks like this, it's a different colour, this is one pixel each by the way. So how do we calculate for the pixel in the result layer is when we've got this one here and this one here. Well, one way you can do it is say, let's take the minimum one each time. And this is what the darken blend does. It looks for the smallest one. And you can see in the blend, it's in blue. In the base, it's the red and green. And so together, they make up this like this. For the result layer, you'd see those colours there. So it's, it's a simple calculation, a simple thing. Some are slightly more complicated, but they're not terribly. And this is often used. What else could you do? Well, you can also do it by pixel. What we mean by this is if we got, again, the base layer and the blend layer, we could now say, well, one way of doing it is just stack them all on top of one another like this. And another one, we could stop, stack them like this. And the, this sort of method is, is used a little, we'll see. And then we can compare, we can decide we've got one stacked here, we've one stacked up here. We want the bigger one or the smaller one. In other words, the brighter one or the darker one. And so we'd choose that then arrange them there. So in this case, we might say we want the, the darker one. So we get what was on the blend layer just in that pixel. Any other pixel can be different. There's also, we can do calculations with at the pixel layer level in all sorts of other ways. For example, doing luminosity, you can use the three of them together to calculate the overall brightness. Um, and 361 is just a way of remembering the way that luminosity is normally calculated in Affinity Photo and other, uh, other things. We got 30% of red, 60% of green, and only about 10% of blue. You can also get layer calculations. Um, this, you don't actually see it in the blend mode, but this could be done. And when we get onto the more advanced stuff, we may come to this. So you could say, what do we just average all the pixels here and then average all the pixels there. And then we decide which of those we're going to choose. Yeah. So we might say, well, we'll have the smaller one. So we'll use layer one because the average is less for the whole thing. Calculations are often done in other ways. So for example, uh, you can use, for example of this is, is, this is a pixel level calculation. So for the multiply blend, you get values like this, 0 0.7, 0 0.9 and 0 0.3. And here, you might get up here, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0 0.8. And then the multiply blend literally multiplies those. So you get the base value times the blend value and that gives us a result value. And that gives us what comes up here. So it's a calculation for each of the um, individual channels on red, green and blue. You can also have conditional calculations and these happen in particular in, in one group. And so if you've got, say this is gray and this is a blend here, what you could say is if the blend value is less than a half, then use the blend value. So we're looking at this one here, less than a half because it's naught to one um, values and naught is dark 
uh, one is light. So in other words, you'd want the left half of this gradient for this one, and then you'd use the base value for the others. And it would look something like this. Overall then, which use the white ones here all use the, the channel level calculations, the red, green, and blue separately. The darker color and lighter ones use the pixel level one. The color ones here calculate separately because they based on hue, saturation, and luminance, which does a sum to get to HSL. Um, and contrast negate has a bit of luminosity considered in it, and arrays uses opacity. So there's a very different ways that, but overall, most of them we're going to meet are going to be channel calculations, red, green, and blue. What you also get in here, uh, we will we'll, we'll come to these, just a marker here, is these orange ones here. These are called the special eight, and that's got to do with what's called fill, but that's in for another time. But just to say, there are differences amongst these. Okay, there you go, that's it. And uh, looking forward to seeing you next time when we get into the real detail. And thank you very much for watching.